I'm getting to that age. I'm 23 years old. I'm 23. Not a lot of people believe that I'm 23. I know in the west of Scotland, this is what a young guy looks like in this day and age. I'm 23. I look like a darts prodigy, don't I? Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 23, so I'm getting to that stage. Some of my friends, some of my cousins are having children. And that way, you'll notice this. In a, in a family gathering, there's a newborn baby getting passed around somebody's living room like a joint. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's saying their peace. You know, some people who have just got this natural rapport when they speak to babies, they can just go, Oh, look at you! <laughs> and the baby starts mumbling. And, oh, are you telling me a wee story? <laughs> it's getting closer and closer to me, and I'm thinking, shit. <laughs> I need to pretend I give a fuck. It gets to me, and I just kind of freeze. I'm going, oh, how, how, how you doing, mate? <laughs> then the baby feels the tension, starts to cry. Everybody looks at me as if I'm in the wrong here. Oh, toughen up, you wee prick. <laughs> dogs as well, I feel uneasy in the presence of dogs. No dogs in the traditional sense, I mean dogs, right? No, you get a difference. <laughs> in Scotland, we call a dog a dog. We take that O and make it a U. A dog, a dog. It's a slang term, but it's also a social implication in that you get dogs and you get dogs. <laughs> Do you know what I mean by that? You get, oh, look at that wee dog watching that fucking dog. <laughs> No one of them big council house terriers with a name like Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody brings it on a bus and it jumps on top of you on the bus and you shite yourself. <laughs> and the owner's going, don't worry, she's only playing with you. Don't worry, she's, she's just a big softie. <laughs> and the dog's going, you know that's a lie. <laughs> this isn't over. I like animals, just feel uneasy amongst dogs. I was watching a documentary about animal testing, about toiletries and cosmetic products that get tested on animals. And it was showing you these horror stories about animals that get badly burned and disfigured. It was pretty, pretty distressing shit, right? But I'm quite a positive guy. I'm watching this, thinking, what about the, the happy stories hmm? about cosmetic tests? What about the tests that were successful? <laughs> What about the toiletries and beauty products that made it to the market? I want to turn on the TV and see the two chimpanzees in a laboratory cage somewhere saying, you're smelling good, Chico. <laughs> Is that Lynx Africa? <laughs> Boom, Chico, wow, wow. Give me a quid or you're getting stabbed. Just you.